In this video, I will be soundly installing Forti Client VPN, the free version. I will also be using PSExec to execute the installation as a system account. To make sure that the installation is successful no matter what user I'm using to deploy the software. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. Also here you can find my other video about PSExec if you want to know more about it. And now I will start this video by downloading the Forti Client executable installation file. And for that I will use the link that I have here that brings us to the Forti Client download page. And here I will scroll down a bit and here we have the Forti Client VPN. And I will download VPN for Windows, so I will click here and wait for the download to start. Now I will go to my downloads folder and here I have my executable. And now that we have our executable, you can see that the file size is a bit small. And that's because this is not the installer itself, it's only the downloader. And we'll use it to download the MSI file. And then we'll use the MSI file separately to install the Forti Client VPN software. So I will right click on it, I will select copy, then I will go to my VMware workstation where I have a Windows Virtual Machine prepared. And here I have my software folder and here I have my PSExec executable that we'll be using later in this video. And I will paste in the downloader for Forti Client VPN. I will double click on it, click yes. And now we need to wait a bit for it to download the software installation files for us. And as you can see, after finishing downloading, it started the installation for us. And now we can grab the installation files so for that I will go to File Explorer, I will open a new type, go to this PC, local C drive, then users, and then you need to select the user that you are using. For me it's my admin user, so I will select that. And here we are looking for Ape Data folder. And it's hidden, so because of that I will click here, and I will add slash, and I will type it manually, Ape Data, and press enter, then local temp and here you should see this folder or something similar to it i will click on it and here we have our installation file so i'll right click on it select copy go to my software folder and paste in the executable into this folder and now before starting the installation we can close the window that we have here yes and finish and I will go to my start menu, I will type cmd to open a command line and I will run it as administrator. Click yes. Now we want to change the directory in our command line to the directory where we have all, all of our files. So I will click here and copy the location from the file explorer and I will type cd and paste in the directory. And if I type there, I can see my files in my command line. Also, if I use command who am I, it is saying that this command line is currently running under the user admin. And like I said, I want to perform the installation under the system account. So for that, I will use psexec and I will type psexec executable name minus i for interactive and minus s to launch a process under the system account. And to make it simple, I will launch another CMD window. I will agree with the license terms and here we have our new window but this time if I type who am I it is saying that this command line is running under the user and the authority system. So everything that I'm doing in this command line I'm doing it as a system user. So once again we want to change our directory to the directory where we have our files. So for that I'll type cd and paste in the directory and press enter. If I type there once again we can see our files here. So now to start the installation, I will go back to my GitHub page where I have the installation command that I will be using for this video. And as you can see, I'm starting the command with cmdc. This is not necessary, but it allows us to see when the installation is done just by looking at the command line. Then I'm providing the MSI file name and then I'm using a switch queue. And basically this makes the installation a silent installation. Then I'm using a switch no restart. And that's because I don't want the installation to initiate a reboot on my computer. And then we're using a parameter all users equal one. And that's to make the installation a machine-wide installation. Basically, this makes 
the software accessible to all users on the computer. So I will copy the command and go back to my VMware workstation. I will paste in the command and press enter. And now let's wait a bit. And it seems that the installation is done. We have our Forti client VPN desktop icon right here. I will double click on it. And then I will agree with the license term. And here we have our Forti client VPN. It seems to be working just fine. And that's it for this video. In the future videos, I will show you how to deploy Forti client VPN using different types of software deployment tools. So like and subscribe if you want to see that. And see you in the next one.